Hello, my name is Steve Henry, and this is my podcast for computer science, and I'm a recording arts major, and I'm going to talk about the change in technologies as far as software goes, all the way to computers, but mostly emphasizing the fact that our technologies have grown smaller in the packages that they come in and require less space in your home. So over the course of history, computer and software technology have had a huge impact on the recording industry and it's continually simplifying the way we record tracks. Some purists will say that there's nothing better than analog tape. And I agree when it comes to capturing sound, but when it comes to mixing, mastering, and adding effects, you have infinite possibilities just right at your fingertips. You can turn an on-screen dial, increase the values of an effect without even leaving your chair. And in the case of laptops, you could create an entire album from your couch if you wanted to. So now just with any technology, as time goes on, they're, they're mass produced, you know, and prices are driven downward, you know, as time goes on, you know, such as the computers are cheaper now, um, software is less expensive, and it makes these technologies more accessible to the everyday consumer, you know, such as me and people in our classes right now, people with, you know, limited incomes can now record at their home and have great quality. But the main thing is, as time goes on, the package of the technology that it comes in gets smaller. And it's pretty amazing. You know, whereas a digital workstation in, say, the 70s or 80s would consume a decent-sized bedroom, now literally fits like, right in the palm of your hand. You know, for instance, I've got an application on my phone that it's a four-track recorder, which isn't, it's not a lot by any standard, you know, today, but it's four tracks it's fully editable, you can add time-based effects, you can add chorus, delay, um, cut, loop, paste, you know, whatever you want to do, overdubs. And to me, that means a lot, and it says a lot of how far technology's come. And there's other applications that fit, you know, onto your phone, you know, that are also very relevant to the industry, such as, uh, let's say, Jadu VNC. It's a VNC client, and what it allows you to do is view your desktop remotely and you have full control of your computer. So say for instance if uh, I've got a musician you know, at my home in the living room and I want to get out of the room, I can go upstairs to say another bedroom and as long as I'm on the Wi-Fi network I can view my desktop, change um, values, uh, increase output volumes, anything I want to do right from my phone. And as far as hearing goes, for monitoring what you're, what you're recording, there's also another application for the phone that is called AirPhones. And what that does is also works off of your Wi-Fi network, and uh, it, it allows you to hear whatever audio is coming from your computer. So instead of having to drag a pair of headphones with an 80-foot extension you know, up to a bedroom, I can now just plug in a pair of headphones to the phone and listen remotely. And... Uh, even if I wanted to, I could plug in, you know, a line into a couple, to a pair of monitors, and I could have remote monitoring at any room that I want without any cables. And uh, that also is a substantial, substantial increase in technology right there. Um, mostly, you know, all these things have gone from really large mundane packages with, with not even that great of audio quality and now they've been reduced to pine size packages with great audio quality. You know, and I'm curious to see what the future entails for our industry, and I really hope that I play a role in this continually changing and expanding industry, and uh, I'll be here to see it happen. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation and my very, very generic attempt to make it look like I'm in a studio, and, um, I will see you all later. Thank you.